Let us strive on to finish the work we're in, to bind up the nation's wounds, to care for him who shall have borne the battle. My fellow Americans, First Lady, Vice President Harris, and Second Gentlemen, Secretary Blinken, Austin, McDonough, Mayorkas, Chairman Brown, most importantly, our veterans, service members, and their families. I've said it many times before. I got in trouble for saying it when I was a young senator. I said, we have many obligations, but only one truly sacred obligation, sacred. To prepare those we send into harm's way and to care for them and their families when they return home and when they don't. It's an obligation, not based on party or politics, but on a promise that unites us all. And today, as we strive on to finish the work of our moment, to bind the nation's wounds once again, we commit and recommit to this sacred vow. This is the last time I will stand here at Arlington as Commander-in-Chief. It's been the greatest honor of my life to lead you, to serve you, to care for you, to defend you, just as you defended us generation after generation after generation. You are the greatest fighting force, and this is not hyperbole, the finest fighting force in the history of the world. I'll never forget standing at Valley Forge, where our nation's first soldiers laid down their lives to deliver a nation where everyone is entitled to inalienable rights, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. And I'll never forget walking the hills of Gettysburg, where thousands more shed their blood to make those words real. I'll never forget in Bellow Woods visiting there to pay tribute to the heroes who stepped on that beach or standing in the cliffs of Normandy 80 years after D-Day to honor the service members and veterans who literally saved the world with absolute heroism. Just standing there, you wonder how in God's name did they have the courage to do what they did. I'll never forget visiting bases in Korea where America's sons and daughters answers a call to defend the people they had never met for paying my respects in Hanoi, where so many of our troops defended democracy, including my friend and once worked for me, John, Senator John McCain.